Okay, game three. Now it starts getting interesting. One to one. Who's going to take the advantage here? Jonah? Or you, Thermal? Again, Habitation Station. <laughs> Are they going to stick to their guns? <laughs> I wonder. This is going to be fun to watch. I'm not... Yeah. Thermal is... It's like I said, it's one to one. Yona broke Thermal. Maybe it was because of the map. Maybe it was because Thermal went for a, quite a risky expansion. Yona didn't do any early game harassment at all. It's not really possible. But, you know, completely regressive play. And, I don't know. It, um... Is he going to try and change something about this tactic, I wonder? Because, yes, it's worked, and it works almost every time, but Thermal's production is just stupid once it gets going, and you need some kind of response to that. Taking the, the, the fourth base, was it? The fifth base, whatever? It, that should have bloomed into something, but he couldn't because he kept pushing all of his lava into Zerglings and Banelings. There was nothing else he can do. Maybe put down a couple of more macro hatches or something, I don't know. Regardless, there's the expansion for pool, as is the style on these maps. And we see the regular the Reaper opening. The gas and then the Reaper for the scouts. And the harass, Orbital preparing, Overlord seeing that there's no shenanigans, spawning pool, there we go. It's all in the order of these things, how is Thermal going to do, when is he going to take his expansion, is he going to keep it in the main base, he probably will, because this third is just notorious, but just to substitute uh, some SEV production and not substitute but um, supplement thank you English speaking very well here come the Reapers those Laffy Daffy Reapers and the expansion a third perhaps there's a metabolic and the queens are late again, but no drones in the natural. Not really doing anything. So we know the dance that these players play. Awaiting the onslaught. They're sure to happen soon. Right. Queen's out, Reaper's gone, can they snipe it? Not with... Eh. They are gonna try, but with the little dance of lings. <laughs> Two queens there now, and no way to get into the main base, that's the shitty thing. So you can just bring back the queen that you have in the main, and it's not gonna matter how much you micro those units. Here's the factory for the Hellions. And we do see that third command center going up. But again... Probably just to st stick around in the main for a bit. As income-wise, you know, harvesters. This is the thing, with that third command center inside, you can definitely out-drone the, the Zerg after a bit. Especially if he's going for the Lings and just completely committing to the lava. Yep, there you go. We have... Good old-fashioned Hellions. Ah, but just waiting for production here. Is he only going... Well, he's pulling him back. There you go. Now two more. Oh, command set is almost done. But, yeah. This, of course, is to block any sort of Zergling run by that might happen. Zergling timing hasn't happened yet. Here's the third. Building up, building up, building up. And so, and the creep, spa, creep spread starts once more. 
There's the orbital. Supply depot to complete the ramp as well. Yeah, skirting a bit with supply block, both of them actually. And we had a bit of a pause apparently. Which is now passed. Sometimes that's important. Queens. Queens and zerglings and things in evolution chambers and all the things we like to see. Here we have the barracks being added for the marine onslaught. And there we have our merry band of harasses. The stop this this flow of the spice. But this time there's already drones in the third. This is an alternate reality where these aliens might actually get a couple of drone kills. They might have died, and the queens know it, they move up. And are going to die, deny this lovely little piece of harassment. I'm wondering, we're just seeing the same old, same old. Starport, I don't know, on this map. It hasn't worked, because there's so much area, so much macro room. A micro room, should I say. It's so easy for the Terran to spread out his army. Please, you want to do something different. There's the macro hatchery inside. But I don't see any tech, I don't see anything. Bailing nests, speed on the overlords mirror the previous game and here they go again similar as the matchup happened before he sees it that gold expansion with mules on it even and probably yeah just siphoning some manging some uh, SUVs there but that gold is gonna be a massive source of, of marines and it needs to go but Yona hasn't the force. He's now trying to really get rid of these. And might actually succeed in getting at least one, two, maybe the third. No. But that, that, this one needs to go. If Yona wants to win this, look, these are the barracks that are going to be fueled solely. Look at... I... The production is going to be so big. Either take take it yourself, but it's going to be dropped on soon. Because we already have we have two drop ships, two medevacs inbound. Here we go. Not going to see it really, really, on it. Going to allow them near the mineral line. Pull off the zerglings. No. That little bit of harassment. He is going to try and run in here. But not with the intended forces. And here the same thing. Oh yeah, you might get a couple of kills here. He's not micro him though, that's a shame. No, no, don't cancel those yet, thank you. Yeah, not the kind of... Oh dear. Is that what I think it is? That's a widow of mine. So now cleaning up the, uh, the tumors. A lot happening here, that's always a pro Oh, that's a good one. Now push it, push it, push the advantage because there's already Marines on way. Oh boy. Um, he's out producing him already. That gold's been up too long. And see, look, that's 600, 700 minerals in the bank. They should be going to roaches or something. Exactly. There's too much production here. There's just. 12 marines, plus 2 attack, plus 2 attack, but this is not going to be enough, unless it's like all banelings, everything banelings. But you need to use, there's, yeah, there's a base here, but... Oh, we don't mind. Oof. If we don't mind, they could be dangerous for him as well, though. Oh, poor Hellion, claustrophobic and everything. Yeah, that's gonna just gonna picked off because it's uh, yeah yeah just loaded in. Where's the spire? I wonder. Oh dear. 
That wasn't a good run by at all. This, on the other hand, was. Here come the Mutalisks trying to intercept this. Trying to keep up with everything happening on the map here. Francis is going to clear it out. Mutalisks out as well. Queen going to go down. Never a good thing. More Queens. Grease Red's going to get cleaned up. Here's the clump of the army. Not a lot of Banelings here though. And the spread out army. Uh, head first. Muters need to focus down the Metavax. Uh, don't really succeed in doing so. Yeah, now they will. Okay, this is important. This is important. Can he get it? Can he get it? There's still too many clumps of Marines. Too many clumps of Marines. He moved forward, didn't split them up enough, and it's going to move through. But the production is there. 54 things this time around are being produced. Could be wiped away by just a couple of Widow Mines. That gold is doing well still. The Marines keep being produced. Banelings in short. Well, no, there's, there's gas. Are we going to see some kind of evolution? I mean, the, the lair actually almost down by that drop that... Again, pushing some Hellbats in the mix. Muters, only one turret, but they're all going to be repairing it. No, 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 no. Ooh. Nice response. Turret up, lols. Ah, but in the main... Oh, there's a Thor, there's a Thor. Don't clop up, don't clop up. Don't want to lose these. And yes, there will be defense in the gold as well. Because production's right next to it. Now. Because th there's an overload down. 200 supply for Terran. Not as much for Zerg, but... The injects are there. The lava are there for a replacement at least once. This one, still not... I thought it was going to go down, actually, but it is not... Look at that spread. You want to have some kind of pincer movement here. Oh, look at this. Congo line. Oh, that would have been so sweet to attack with those Erglings. But he doesn't see it. He's going to try and flank with some more Lings. Try to take out the mineral line here. That's how he won the first game. Baneling, the Baneling bust. That's exactly what's going to happen here. But it's going to be enough. Because it's going to be in time. The third base, the fourth base is defunct. So attacking there... Not be important. Here comes the engagement of the Rams. Oh my God! He misses an opportunity. He really does miss an opportunity. He's just going to abandon it. But he could. Look at this. Look at all these these units out of position. He should engage here. And oh, by the way, nothing here happened apparently. Here we go. Here's the engagement. That's good. The top is gone. These Rams are murder. He needs to wait. Thermal needs to wait. There's still a lot of units here. There's still a lot of Zerg here. They have equal supply now. One good engagement. He's retreating thermal. <laughs> what are we going to see? Moving through. But those are the ones supposed to leave behind. To allow for the retreat of the main army. But this main army. He's not going to engage it. Already split up again. He sees the full brunt of the Zerg base here. Zerg army even. Income wise, there has been a hit in the harvest as those banelings did do something. The production, however, has not slowed. The gold, however, is done. This is... Oh my. Another engagement. The banelings, all the banelings at the back. Oh no, 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 no. If he sees this, he's splitting him up. He's splitting him up. That was an, again another window. The gold is gone. So will the SEVs. This is going to leave productions halted. Thermal needs another base. Otherwise he's going to be starved. The income is dwindling severely. Now the links go in. But. The money is also running out. 
for Jonah. He needs that base now that he sacrificed. Splitting up of the base army. Still equal, but all down to a single engagement. Flyleepo's being attacked. Oh, one Baneling bomb. Just one here, one here. Here comes the base. Oh, the Overlord's gonna creep spread that. That's beautiful. Because time is of the essence. There's literally... Thermal's got... Thermal's got nothing. Thermal's got no income. 700. It's about to expire. <laughs> Yona actually fought us off long enough for the goal to be empty. It's not going to go for the main anymore because there's nothing there to attack. Here it goes. This is... This is Thermal's last attack. This is it. He's trickling it in, but that's not gonna... Oh, the Hellbats. The Hellbats need to be dealt with first, because they're gonna take the Bronze out of the, uh, the Link out. Oh! Infestors! He actually built Infestors! Face is gonna go down, but he has it. Oh no, please don't lose them to just. Please. Don't do this to me. But is the fungal gonna be useful at this point because there's only a trickle of units and he doesn't want the brunt of his forces in there? I'm gonna keep these selected. One good fungal and it's over. The mutalisks have been harrying everything. The supply is still there. Now the infested terror, he, he didn't use it for fungal, did he? No, of course not. It's done. Trickling in the units didn't work, there's not enough here. Thermal quits the game and there you go. Two to one for Yona. Best of five, anything can still happen, the next game is crucial. He got, he just mined out. <laughs> Taking those mules to the gold base weren't, wasn't a good idea, I guess. Alright, so, nothing more to say. Onward to the next one.